Hi, I'm Engineer Frappier, and today we're here at the Grand Junction Fire Training Facility where we're doing our maze. When the crew goes in the house, we black them out. We have these special masks, so having smoke conditions banked down all the way to the floor. In the maze, uh, some of the things that we want to work with the recruits on are, uh, number one, their PPE, becoming comfortable in their gear. How it all fits, how it's supposed to move, uh, how you move around uh, down low in your gear. Uh, getting comfortable with your SCBA particularly, which is uh, your self-contained breathing apparatus, the uh, air pack that we use to go into live fire conditions or smoke conditions. So that's a, a major part of it is just learning about that SCBA, all the sounds it makes, all the noises it makes, um, you know, where air can bleed out, how to fix problems. So a lot of problem solving happens in the maze. We intentionally make their gear out of sorts so that they know how to fix it if should that happen in a fire. For example, is uh, we have a purge valve on their mask which allows air to flow freely. So we don't, we don't want to waste air and we don't want air to flow freely. So we'll just uh, open that valve to simulate, oh, maybe they knocked it on something. We will uh, intentionally get them caught on wires and bars and things like that so that they know how to free themselves should they get entangled in um, anything that they could come across. You okay? Go through the wall! Um, so purposely getting them caught, um, turning off their air so that they know how to. Sometimes in a fire you can uh, your bottle can unintentionally get turned off. So being comfortable, staying calm, staying cool-headed, and being able to know where your gear's at and know the process of how to go about fixing a problem when it happens with a cool head. And sometimes it works out great, and sometimes we learn from our failures by the crew getting separated or going the wrong way on the hose. And so this is how we develop those, those communication skills from one firefighter to another. We're wearing these breathing apparatuses that have their own noise that they're making. So we have to amplify our voices just so that we can communicate with one another. On top of that, we've got the radio traffic coming from all these units, from the battalion chief, from dispatch. So the firefighter needs to know what they need to hear, um, interpret, and then what to do with that information. So these are some simple things, if you can see and if you can talk, but when we have loud music playing and you can't see and you've, you're in a house you've never been before and maybe you're running low on air and somebody's messing with your gear, it makes that situation uh, a bit more stressful and so that it's really important that the crews communicate and they learn how to communicate in those environments and trust that chain of command within their crew all the way up to their captain. 